there is not a single verse in the entire Quran where Allah says Masjid Al-Aqsa was ever the Qibla or the prayer direction for Muslims. There's not a single verse in the entire Quran. Not a single one. Masjid Al-Aqsa, what we know today to be in Jerusalem, was never the Qibla for Muslims because Masjid Al-Aqsa was not built during the lifetime of Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him. The question is, what was Muhammad following before the direction for Qibla was made towards Masjid Al-Haram? We know that uh, in the Quran from chapter 2 verse 144 onwards until if you go down to 148 and so, you will see that the Qibla or the prayer directions was changed. The prayer direction was changed towards Masjid Al-Haram. But it doesn't say where it was before the uh, prayer direction was changed, specifically by name. The verses, that is from chapter 2, verse 144 onwards, you will see that it gives you a sense that Muslims were following the people of the scripture to pray towards their Qibla or to pray towards whatever they were making their, their prayer directions uh, to be. So what was the prayer direction for the Jews? The prayer direction for the Jews was Jerusalem, as we can read from Talmud and from other scriptures of the, uh, the Jews, that their direction, as always, was towards Jerusalem. And we can find references uh, from the prayer directions of Solomon and uh, in various chapters of the Bible and Torah. You will see that Mizrah was Jerusalem, the prayer direction. It was never, never Al-Aqsa or where Al-Aqsa stands today. The question remains, where was Al-Aqsa? Well, we don't know. Was it even the name of a particular mosque? Or masjid, or rather, it was mentioning the Quran was mentioning to a distant mosque. There is no confirmation that whether there was any masjid or mosque by the name Al Aqsa during the time of the Prophet. But there is another meaning of this word Al Aqsa. Al Aqsa means etymologically the farthest masjid. What was the farthest masjid then? or area of prayer, we don't know. Masjid doesn't necessarily mean a structured place or a building. Masjid means a, a, a prayer area. If you read the references of Masjid Al-Haram in the Quran, you will see Masjid Al-Haram refers to an area. If you read all the verses, there are 15 references Fifth, you know, in the Quran, where you can find the word Masjid Al Haram, and if you read every verse that mentions Masjid Al Haram, that verse mentions as if an area where Muslims were driven out from, or where um, they had their homes in. So, when we read in chapter seventeen, verse one. That the Prophet was taken, Allah's servant, it says Allah's servant was taken from Masjid Al-Haram to Masjid Al-Aqsa. Probably it was referring to one place to another distant place. It doesn't necessarily mean a particular mosque, from a particular mosque to a particular mosque. Or a structured building to another structured building. It doesn't mean that. There is not a single verse, again I'm telling you, there's not a single verse in the entire Quran where it says that Muslims had Al-Aqsa, the present day Al-Aqsa, or even Alaska at any time uh, to be their uh, prayer directions. Muslims were following the people of the book unless they had a specific directions not to follow because Muslims would consider Injil, Torah, or the Bible or the Old Testament, New Testament to be 
their book as well, unless Quran had specific directions abrogating or nullifying some of the verses of the previous scripture to be, you know, uh, corruptions. So, when Muslims were uh, treating uh, the Torah, they were also treating it uh, to be words of God, as I said, unless the Quran specifically um, directed otherwise. If you read Surah 5, or Maida, verse 43 and 44, you will see, and in several other places, um, Allah is directing the people of the scripture to follow their book, unless there were specific directions not to follow because they were considered to be corruptions. For example, whenever the Quran is dealing with uh, Trinity, the uh, Quran is teaching that Trinity is a corruption um, in Allah's book, which was corrupted by um, the clergy of the uh, previous scripture. So, to claim that Al-Aqsa was ever the Qibla or pair direction for the Muslims, hence it is a sacred mosque, is a blatant lie. It was rather um, uh, made into Islamic belief or it was interpolated into Islamic belief much later. As we know, hadiths were not written until almost 250 to 300 years of Prophet's death. And we do not have any uh, manuscripts uh, which are today considered to be of great uh, esteem. For example, we do not have a manuscript of Bukhari which was written by Bukhari. Uh, and it was written rather 100, 100 and plus years after the death of Bukhari that we have today uh, as we treat as Bukhari. And then again, the complete Bukhari we find the earliest one about 1000 years uh, old. Nevertheless, again coming back to the issue, I think Al-Aqsa was, the issue of Al-Aqsa was um, rather politicized uh, for the purpose of uh, taking over Jerusalem. And if you read the Quran, uh, verse, uh, chapter 5, verse 21, and again, and chapter 17, verse 104, you will see that Allah rather gave um, Jerusalem to um, the Jews who were, are also considered people of the scripture or people of the book. So here's a challenge again for all Muslims to show me one explicit unequivocal verse where it says Qibla was ever the direction prior direction for Muslims show me one surah 18 verse 1 Allah says that Quran is a straightforward and surah 12 verse 1 Quran is comprehensive and surah 33 verse 70 Allah directs us to talk straight so show me a single verse from the entire Quran where it says that Al-Aqsa was ever the direction, prayer direction for Muslims and uh, also it goes against um, the very story of why the Qibla was changed. Jews never treated Al-Aqsa or any structure in that very place to be their prayer, their prayer direction it doesn't make any sense at all and also there's not a single verse in the entire Quran to say that Kaaba is in the area of Masjid Al-Haram not a single verse in the entire Quran so how can Muslims claim that Kaaba is a prayer direction for Muslims I don't find any basis for that either. And as a Muslim, I don't believe Kaaba is the prayer direction uh, or Qibla for Muslims because there is no basis of it in the Quran. Rather, if you read Surah 10, verse 87, it says that the, uh, the followers of uh, Moses was, uh, were directed to make their homes their Qibla. And if you also read Surah 2, verse 144 and onwards, you will see that Masjid al-Haram was made prayer direction for Muslims for two reasons. First of all, Muhammad was very sad and he was looking up to the sky and Allah says he knew why, because obviously Muhammad came from Masjid al-Haram area. And also to find out who were following him, um, just to 
you know, demarcate between um, Muslims and Jews, or uh, rather uh, the Mumin or the believers uh, who believed Muhammad to be their prophet, and the people of the book who were not taking Muhammad to be their prophet. And as we all also know, that Masjid al Quba was the first mosque that Muhammad had established. Uh, and, and obviously, uh, Medina was established, Medina Mosque was established later on. So the people mainly who were praying in Masjid al Quba, where obviously we know that the direction was changed to Masjid al Haram, uh, were the Mahajirans or who followed Muhammad from his birthplace to um, that area. And also, we can understand late, from later verses, say, for example, uh, Surah 2 of the same Surah, verse 177, uh, that uh, Allah is saying that doesn't matter which direction you pray to, words, you know, they are all the directions are Allah's, east, west, north, west, it doesn't matter which way you turn your face. Your righteousness doesn't believe, rely on that. And so also in Surah Rahman, we can also read verses like, um, uh, um, Rabbul Mashrikain, Rabbul Maghribain, Fabi Ayala, Rabbul Tukazimam. That means, you know, to, well, he's the Lord of the East, Lord of the West, you know. Um, Nabatians also used to refer Masjida to be a place of prostration for them because they used to worship many gods and uh, their gods were standing like the statues of, uh, uh, say, Easter Island. Um, where they were bowing and they were praying. So masjidah doesn't necessarily mean, or masjid doesn't necessarily mean an a structured place or a, a, a closed uh, uh, um, structure or a, or a building. There's nothing to suggest that there was a masjid or a mosque or a structured building named Masjid al-Haram or even Masjid al-Aqsa. Rather, I believe that's to be uh, a place from here to there and there's not a single verse again <laughs> where uh, in the Quran where it says Muhammad peace be upon him ever flew on uh, a half uh, half human half um, animal uh, you know transportation to God or um, the story of, of uh, Miraj has no basis Israel Miraj has no basis in the Quran as well. So I think rather it is a concocted thing to rather interpolate Jorostrian stories like Ardaviraz into Hadith and to rather have a control of Jerusalem under the grips of Muslim conquerors later on. There is also not a single verse in the entire Quran where it says that uh, the bait of the uh, ancient praying house that Ibrahim or Abraham had built uh, was treated by him and his followers as the Qibla or prayer direction. Rather, you will find verses like his followers or the people were praying inside it or around it and they were coming from all over the places uh, as a place of pilgrimage. But there's not a single verse to suggest that uh, Ibrahim had built his house as a Qibla or praying direction for all mankind. And I must also refer you to verse 107 to 110 of Surah 9, which refers to uh, the incident of Masjid al-Dirar. That Masjid or praying house was being used by uh, non-Muslims as their praying house and they had invited Muhammad, peace be upon him, to pray with, um, with them, but Muhammad obviously was directed by Allah not to pray in there because they were not praying to the Allah that we Muslims consider to be our God. That also proves that the term masjid was being used by non-Muslims as well. So, um, I'm again ending this video with a challenge to show me one single verse the Masjid al-Aqsa was ever um, the prayer uh, the Qibla for Muslims there's none and this uh, sense that uh, Al-Aqsa is the third holiest mosque for Muslims is rather baseless has no connection with Quran rather Allah has given Jerusalem to the Jews that's the fact honest truth